hello everyone before we start with the tutorial uh, i will give you a little bit preview of my website from where you can buy and download the detailed parametric uh, families to be used in your uh, architectural and interior design projects for now there are these folding doors doors windows center tables these columns all of them are fully parametric you can even you know open and close these lures and you can change the height and the width of these doors and the, all of them are created in details with the profiles and everything the new addition is these folding doors and you can open and close them at any given angle between 0 to 90 degrees and there are these six type of folding doors and you can use them by changing their dimensions and everything and you can use them in your interior projects and before you buy the product from this shop tab uh, check out these videos in which i have given a detailed video on how you can change the parameters of the uh, of the uh, families and blocks available in this shop tab so do give a visit to the website and give me your feedback so now let's move towards the tutorial Today's tutorial is about how to create this mesh railing design in Revit using the simple stair and railing command. Before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. And now let's start. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. Then select the stair command in the architecture tab and you, uh, as you can see the staircase is for, going to be level 1 to level 2 and from here you can change the number of risers and hence its height of each riser and then the width, depth of the thread and from here you can change the width which I have uh, change to six feet and you can see that how easily you can create the staircase and by use by and join any two given levels in Revit. So I have created this simple U-shaped staircase. There are also some other tutorials available on my channel related to the staircase and uh, railings. I have uh, I have given the link in the description box. Do uh, watch those tutorials as well. Okay, so now this railing looks like this by default and first of all let's change the design of this staircase so go here and from here let's skip this riser as i don't want uh, this staircase to have the risers so now there are only threads and let's uh, change its settings to default and change this nozzle length to zero inches so that uh, we don't have a profile for the for these threads and as you can see it looks like this and from here you can change the thickness of all of these threads and here it goes i have changed it to three inches and you can also change the material of the thread uh, from here so let's give it a wood material Now I don't want these railings to be placed on the threads so select both of them and change this offset value to minus 1 inches and now you can see that it has been placed on the stringers. So now let's change the design of this railing as I want to create a mesh railing for this staircase so select the railing and from here select this glass panel bottom fill uh, railing it is by default available in every Revit file and you don't have to create it okay now I want I'm going to change the profiles and designs of these parts of this railing so first of all let's change the profile of the handrail select it go to edit type and then click here and from here you can see it has some by default some 
profiles available but if you want to create a new profile and then load it into the project and use that then go to open a new family template file of profile rail as you can see in the video and in here using the line command draw the profile of the railing you can create any type of profile according to your design so i am going to keep a simple rectangle of 1.5 inches in thickness and 4 inches in width save this profile and load it into the project then go to 3d select this railing go to edit type and then click here create a duplicate of it assign a name to it i'm according to the dimensions or anything you want so and from this profile change the to rectangular at this rail profile 4 inches into 5 1.5 inches and from here you can assign material to this handrail and you can see that how it looks like now okay now i'm going to assign a this is basically the top rail of the staircase but uh, the railing but i want a handrail as well for that you can see that there are these two rails by default delete this previous this uh, bottom one and you can see it has been deleted now i want to change the profile and the position of this handrail for that again open a new family template file of profile rail and in here draw a profile for the handrail according to your design now save this file and load it into the project go to 3d select it select the railing go to edit type and then click on this edit of rail structure and change the profile from here and also give an offset value of let's say three inches so that it moves a little bit towards right and you can also assign material to it and you can see that the handrail has been placed and it looks like this now select the staircase as i want to change the thickness of the stringers so go here and assign material to it and from here you can change the thickness now from here go to this width and let's say i'm going to keep its width width as three inches click ok and it is a good practice that you change the uh, duplicate this setting and then rename it so as to save the previous one okay now let's change the design of these these pilasters for that uh, for that go to this go to the uh, go to the libraries libraries folder uh, which which is anywhere in your computer mostly in the c drive and go to this railing folder then go to this blisters folder and here you can see this blister round a family file copy and paste it assign a new name to it according to the design open this family file you can also create a new one from the scratch but i would prefer that you edit an existing one as it will save your time so i'm going to keep the uh, delete the diameter as i don't want it to be a round baluster and then double click on this extrusion delete this then delete this dimensions and then delete this circle and now let's create the profile of the baluster which is a simple 
a square of 3 inches by 3 inches. After drawing the profile, click OK. And now I, uh, I need to change this white extrusion. Then double click on it. Go to the left view. And from here, move this line towards here, remove constraint, lock this, and repeat these steps as shown in the video. Now go to the reference level floor plan, and from here, drag this void extrusion like this to meet this extrusion and drag this to meet this extrusion and lock it down so now we have our baluster assign a material to it save this and load it into the project now select the railing go to edit type go to this uh, baluster placement and click on edit and from here this uh, glass uh, baluster rectangular change the baluster uh, uh, assign the baluster family which we have just added it and created so now you can see those balusters have been placed and uh, move the offset of the railing to minus 1.5 inches so that they meet with the stringers now i don't want these you know uh, star post corner post and end post so select none from this baluster placement dialog box to delete all of them from this railing and now let's add the extension in the start and end of the railing set the extension style to wall and let's uh, give it a length let's say 6 inches or 1 feet or it's all according to your design and let's keep the final value at 9 inches and also add the extension in this in the end top S set the extension style to wall and set the length to 9 inches so now click OK and you can see that we have an extension of the top rail in the start and end which looks like this. Now open the baluster folder template and copy this panel glass and copy paste this uh, file. Assign a new name to it. Let's say mesh. This is a mesh panel. Now open it and go to edit type you can see in the uh, left elevation that we have this glass panel for our uh, to be placed in the railing and now let's change it material from here uh, type steel in here click on it and first of all create a duplicate of this material assign a new name to it let's say steel mesh and then click on this duplicate this asset so that the previous steel material is not destroyed then check this get out and from this folder uh, go to the mesh uh, mesh uh, jpeg images and here it comes so select any type of mesh which you want to create i'm going to select this one open it then click on the click on this image and from this scale you can change the uh, size of the mesh let's say one inch but it's going to be very small i would say settle down on three or four inches now let's set it to realistic and well it will be rendered so we will get this uh, meshy appearance in the renders you can also change the thickness of this mesh so let's say 1 by 8 inches 
apply ok and now save and load it into the project and now select the railing and go to edit type and then open this baluster placement dialog box and from here change the baluster family and we have our mesh placed between the blisters and it looks like this in the realistic view you can change uh, materials and assign materials uh, of according to your design to the threads to the top rail to handrail to anything you want and you can use these commands to create many 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 more type of railings modern railings for your projects so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime I will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe